Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy T Dub, and today we're going to be talking about the JBL G2. And I just went across a problem that caused me to take this whole thing apart. And here it is. Yes, I cut the dust cap off, cut the comb out. Before I go any farther, I'm going ahead and explain it real quick. Took it out of the park one day for some type of family reunion party, and everything went well. And uh, this speaker right here, um, it was making some kind of rattling sound. And uh, I didn't know what it was. I just thought the wire from the inside of this unit was hitting against this comb right here. And uh, when I took it home, after DJing it, you know, I had to unscrew the whole back thing up from the back of it to get to it. And sure enough, I mean, the wire was hitting against it, so I put some tape on it, whatever, to keep the wire from hitting the comb. Put it all back together, power it up, it still make that sound. So the next thing I did is, I put on some bass test tunes, and I hooked it up, I start touching the comb. I start doing this to see if I can find a problem, and then when I touched it down here in this area, the noise stop let go it start buzzing again and sure enough I knew I'm gonna have to cut this thing up so I end up removing the dust cap cut the comb off of it and this is where I went across if I can... and, uh... then when I pulled it out this is why I came across I'm gonna show you here hold on. here's the problem the coil has been rubbed against the magnet which I don't understand why and I mean I had this thing I don't even had this for a year and already it's screwed up I mean you know I mean this is brand new I mean I had it for a couple months and uh then when I look down in there, it seems mm, the magnetic structure seems to look straight to me. I mean, I don't really see any shift, but I'm starting to believe that for somewhere, maybe from the camera, you can't even tell, but to me, it almost looks like it's slightly off center. I mean, I'm looking at this side because when I took put this back in there, it was, so it was like this. See if I matched it. If I matched it up, I had it like this when I recombed it. The wires from the bottom goes in here. And I pulled it out, and then I look under it like this. Here's the problem. So that makes me think that somewhere in this area, it's kind of slightly closer to this part. This part was close to this part. But the rest of them looks, you know, spread. But in the camera, you can't even tell because it looks even on the camera. But if you see in that person, I see a, just a tiny little difference. So uh, it makes me think that maybe the magnetic shift, which I don't know how that's possible because, I mean, I don't know nothing about it. And that was the speaker I replaced before. So I came across that. And the wires I was telling you about that was making that noise that hit against the cone, I already taped it up right here. You see tape right in the basket and I thought that was the problem I ended up putting a whole bunch of screws and back in this thing and yet it still make that noise and then I came across the rubber on it ruin it I mean this is a brand new speaker I only had it for like I don't know a couple months and I went across this so now I gotta order it again so but this is why I'm going to have to give me a different speaker. But that's the damage. I end up cutting the comb. As you can, I have to cut the comb. Cut the spider. And I ran across that. And in case y'all wondering where I get this from. From this website. I got to order this again. That will be the second time I have to order this. But... Out of that, man, I don't know. I'm probably just going to 
give me a different tops. I was gonna get something to match my sub that would look something like, okay, this is eBay. I was gonna get something like that to match my subs. I haven't heard them speakers before. So, I mean, Guitar Center has them. And of course the price is $349. I'm trying to find a cheaper. Um, I guess my saying is, a lot of newer power speakers nowadays are digital now. I mean, the JBLs I got are not digital. And a lot of people said the older models are better than the new models, which I do believe that because if I were to go across one, you know I mean, you're going to know it if you know your sound. So, other than that, I'm probably just going to stick to my JBLs and order another one of these for this thing over here so I can recomb it hook it up put it back together and hopefully I'll be back in business because now I'm stuck with two subs and one speaker I had three of them I should have kept them but you know I mean that's what you get what you pay for so yeah but this thing is done but once I get the recon kit and all that I'm gonna make another video and hopefully I get it back in service so I can go ahead and get it bumping. Alright, your boy T-Dub. Thank you YouTube for watching. You know what to do.